Hello, hello, hello once again. Welcome back, guys, to Sam's Rambles number, number two. Number two, yeah, yeah, yeah. Forgot the pilot was like three hours long or something. <laughs> it, was, it was a really long pilot episode, okay, guys? All right. But, um, yeah, pretty much um, I, I was thinking because um, based off of the stream from Friday as well as the one from um, Saturday, I was like, whatever the character limit is on Twitter, that's that's not going to be enough to like express my thoughts fully. <laughs> and I was like, oh, well, I could just keep on like adding on to it in terms of like replies and stuff. But I was like, nah, that's just like, it's going to be like too much. So... I was like, you know what? Um, it'll be—it's a great excuse for me to uh, record another uh, Sam's Rambles. Now, I mean, keep up, keep the the YouTube content flowing. And um, yeah, for those of you guys that weren't able to make it on either uh, Friday or Saturday, just uh, kind of fill you in on like how it went and just like my overall thoughts. Um, it being my first week slash weekend back into streaming in two years. And um, let me let me start off by saying that. Uh, Holy fucking shit, guys. Um, I didn't expect that. Um, now when I'm thinking, I'm like, well, what did you expect? Uh, just certainly not not that level of support. Or seeing that many people. Or not seeing some names that I hadn't seen since, like, Fallout 4. Like, going back to 2015. Like, not that far back. And, um, yeah, it was absolutely insane. I saw, like, a bunch of people on Friday... And I also saw like a bunch of people on Saturday. So on Friday, it was just like just chatting just because it was, yeah, it was like the first stream and I didn't want any distractions, you know, like, and also I hadn't streamed in two years. So I was like, let's just, let's just focus on trying to learn how to like read chat and like <laughs> talk like while I'm fucking looking at a camera and make sure I can, you know, de-rust those muscles. And uh, I'm, I'm very much still rusty, but hey, it's, a, it's a work in progress. And, um, as I was like watching the VOD the next day, I was like, oh my God, I totally skipped over that message or I totally missed this. And uh, yeah, hope you guys forgive me. I'm only human, I mean, only human, okay? No, fuck you, Sam, you piece of shit. You should have read the message, um, unfollow forever. Ah, bitch, I make mistakes, make fakes. <laughs> derailing already anyways 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 guys 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 um thanks so much for all of you guys that stopped by on either friday or saturday or both even if you couldn't make it even if you couldn't make it which like is totally understandable for multiple reasons one of them being time zones and if not that you have your own fucking life and i totally understand and i respect that i very much appreciate the sentiment and the desire to have been there but it's cool like totally man you're welcome to hang out whenever I go live. And if you can't make it for whatever fucking reason, regardless of your intentions, it's cool, dude. Like, no worries. It's like not the end of the world. Worst case scenario, if you really want to like watch what happened, you got the VOD. You know what I mean? And um, I'm planning on um, trying to, you know, keep up with uh, exporting the VODs as soon as like I finish my stream, like to my YouTube channel so that you know, you, th there will always be like a place to watch, you know, my past broadcast there because I did that here and there uh, before, but I, I was very inconsistent with it. And uh, yeah, it was just kind of all over the place. Um, so with uh, the stream on Friday, I don't think I'm going to split that into different parts just because it was it was just me talking. You know what I mean? And I, I think it'd be kind of weird if I did like different uh, little sections, all, although that I can understand like why that would be convenient for you guys uh, it, it, that was much more of like a podcast format so i kind of want to just keep it all together i'm gonna have to sp i'm gonna have to <laughs> combine two sections of it though because i mean if you guys are there like my stream kind of died like 30 minutes in because something with my fucking usb port and uh yeah shit just got all fucky so i had to like restart my computer but 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 uh besides that um, as far as like the Halloween stream that I did on Saturday, uh, playing Resident Evil 2 Remake, um, that I'm more prone to, um, download and then go into, um, Premiere or just do it through like YouTube studio and cut those into like me, like 30 minute sections. Um, but yeah, that, I'm, I'm still very much like thinking about that, but yeah, point being like, I do want to have like 
um, a, a backup source for like all my VODs and stuff, um, like on my YouTube channel, um, separate from like content uploads like this. Um, but yeah, no, getting back to, uh, get back to getting back to Friday stream. Um, it was absolutely insane, man. Um, the best way I can describe it is it's as if I never fucking left, dude. That is like the best way to describe like my feeling this entire weekend. It's as if like I didn't jump. It's like I didn't fucking go off the grid for two years. It's like I didn't fucking just disappear like without so much as a peep. Every like now and then like I would post something like on my Twitter, but really not much, you know, and uh, to see so many people who were either very active before I left Twitch or would pop in whenever I was playing like a certain game to even come in and just say like, hey, like, welcome back. <sighs> I, don't, I don't even know how to describe that, man. And I mean, maybe you may hear this and you're like, well, that doesn't seem like that big of a deal. But it's like, dude, the point is like, he or she or like you guys like made that fucking like that conscious decision and whether or not you think that that was like a huge effort on your part or not like dude like i want you to know that like it meant a lot to me to see people that were actively supporting me and even if not that they would just pop in every now and then to actually come in on friday or saturday and just be like hey sam like holy fuck i haven't seen you since like you played like insert this game it's good to see you welcome back all sorts of different positive messages and me trying to process that and either trying to <laughs> depending on how long it was figure out like what game it was that i had met them from or if not that just memories like flooding back into my memory of like our past interactions and um man it all just kind of hit me at once you know what i mean as it was happening, you know what I mean? Like it was, it was a clusterfuck of emotions. And even when I'm thinking about it now, it's just like, holy shit, man. I can't believe like this weekend, like already happened. Like it happened so fucking fast, dude. And, um, it was amazing, dude. It was really fucking good. And to, to, and to fucking add on to that, the fact that a lot of you guys not only gave me your time, but either resub to the channel or in the case of like Longbeer or Brian or like, you know, other people gifting subs to my community. It's, it's like the it's like the cherry on top, you know what I mean? It's like it was already it's already way more than I can fucking ask for if you're going to uh, hold on, just silence my phone just in case I don't want any interruptions. <laughs> um, it's already enough. Like, so much more than I can ask for that you're giving me your time, which is so fucking precious, which I value and respect so much when you guys give that to me, even if it's, like, through a lurk. Um, the fact that a lot of you guys have decided to also support me financially by, like, dropping a sub or, like, gifting out subs or giving me bits or anything like that. Um, it's, you know, you guys know that you don't have to do that, um, but I very much fucking appreciate the fact that, like, you did do that. Um, on, on top of, you know, just giving me your time and, um, yeah, I, I, I really don't know like what much else to say except like fucking thank you a million times over again because yeah, broken record, you know, I've been a fucking broken record this entire weekend, but it's it, it, the best way I can describe it is it's, it's as if I never fucking left and I'm so thankful for that because I was prepared and ready to accept and willing to accept that on my first stream back, I would just never see some people ever again, not even considering like their work schedule of whether or not they could make it or not, but that either they had unfollowed, they had stopped that, or they had just saw my video and they're like, okay, like he's done streaming. So like, I'm going to move on and I'm going to watch like these people, or even if it's like not Twitch related, they're just like, okay, well, like I'm in a different chapter of my life. So I'm not even like on Twitch, like period. So like, maybe i'll be back maybe if not but you know like any any variation of reasons um to not show back up in my stream i was willing to like accept that on the part that it was my fault 
for essentially like letting my community like dissolve and this was before like you know like i went live or even like posted that like i was going to come back i was just like all right well I'm, I'm i'm yeah it's like it's on me if i wanted to keep my community going then like it it had to have been on me to like keep people updated and keep people in the loop and the fact that i barely did any of that you know and i'm not proud of that i fucking feel like a piece of shit for not doing that but you know that's in the past and you know i'm very much trying not to like let my mistakes dictate who i am today and how i want to go about you know living my life today because a lot of you guys are like dude like fucking like whatever man we're just happy to see you now we're just happy to see you happy again i'm very much thankful for all of your guys' understanding on that for sure um but yeah i still had to make it like clear just you know that that the guilt has been felt i'm not trying to let that you know like stay with me and you know what i mean like that that be like a cloud over you know myself in terms of like me feeling like a piece of shit because it's like nah like whatever i was it's not my proudest moment but you know what i mean that was that was like two years ago you know and um i've, I've grown since then and um my my physical and my mental health has you know grown since then and um yeah you know like i'm ready to like move past that and like drop all that guilt that i was i was intentionally holding on to myself and that i had created for myself not on not based off of like you know anyone else except myself because you guys have always been so goddamn fucking loving and supportive for me that the reason the guilt started to be that the guilt even built up and started was it's like dude look at everything they've done for you you could have at least kept them updated like come on sam you know what i mean like i i thought that of as like a, a beer a bare minimum that i could have and that i should have done and then i did it um so yeah with that with that all being said seeing all of these names all of these fucking people all of you guys back this weekend yeah um once again i i i i I don't know how to properly describe it <laughs> like I, I posted it earlier in my discord it's just like thank you guys so much for like all the fucking support this weekend like i'm humbled i'm grateful i'm blessed and i'm out of adjectives to fully accurately describe how fucking grateful i am for all of you guys some of you guys have told me like in either in the chat or through dms that this year has been like really fucking tough for you and I won't go into details because that is like, no, like that's, it's not my right to talk about that. And I wouldn't out of respect for your privacy, just as I would assume that you guys wouldn't do that for me, if I were to like disclose something. And if I told you like, oh yeah, like fucking, like, I don't care about this. Then like, you know, that's different. But in terms of like what you guys have told me, it's like, holy shit, dude. I thought I had like a rough two years. I thought I had like a rough six months or you know insert like any time frame and to hear what some of you guys had to have gone through given the pandemic or even before that and how it you know dominoed into just like the shitstorm that is 2020 with that additional context in mind it's like dude like thank you like for stopping by and hanging out when i feel like the priorities shouldn't should have been not hanging out in my stream and then tackling this itch issue or this situation and i understand and i understand you know what i mean a form of escapism you know like watching my stream or doing any number of activities so if that's the reason for it to like watch my stream so that you don't have to like deal with it all that like that's that, that's fine and i'm honored and i'm more than happy to provide that escape for you because streaming is like is an escape for me in s some way shape or form you know like i'm in a much better place now than like i was two years ago but still you know it, it's a way for me to like get away from like so much of the shit that's like going down like in the world today or that has gone down and instead of letting that bring my mood down or making me feel shitty or any number of like negative emotions or feelings to totally not even to be all like on the opposite spectrum of that this weekend of feeling like so happy so enthusiastic so humble so grateful so thankful to be feeling so much positivity from all of you guys and all of your support this past weekend it's just oh my god it was it was fucking therapeutic 
that's like the best word that I can think of to just like describe like how it's made me feel you know what I mean like straight up like therapy but like therapy in terms of like I'm just talking and hanging out with my friends again and like I have IRL friends and like I still see them so it's not like I didn't have like any like other communication like with the outside world and I'm just fucking cooped up in here you know I very much understand that there has to be like a balance between what I'm doing here uh, in terms of like you know with me streaming again as well as like balancing spending time with zero just being outside you know what I mean just getting out there like in the real world maybe not as much as like I would have like pre-pandemic because you know what I mean like Rona and shit um <laughs> but um yeah I understand that um being on one extreme or the other instead in terms of like before I was streaming and I was just like going out all the time and drinking and all that shit even though like I wasn't like a huge fan of that and getting burnt out from that and then stopping all of that and then only streaming and then getting feeling the opposite spectrum of that burnout I understand I understand that there it's it's important for me to experience like both sides like face-to-face -face connection because like these are like my friends that I've like fucking known since high school so like I want to keep those connections and I don't want those friendships to dissolve but at the same time especially with this past weekend and seeing so many of you guys fucking in my chat well that sounds weird like <laughs> Jesus so mood fucking in my chat okay grow up Sam Get back to the top, get hand, get your fucking dirty ass mind out of the game. I mean, so to see so many like fucking like old names in chat, and we're all just picking up like right where we left off, or we're talking about, you know what I mean? Like the last memory they had of me when they were like in my stream is just, uh, oh man. Um, I didn't, I didn't realize how much I needed that or, I mean, well, that ma it makes me sound like I'm desperate. I didn't realize how much I crave that, how much like I fucking missed that interaction until it all happened on friday and saturday until it all hit me like a fucking wave as soon as i hit start streaming or even before that to see people just anticipate like eagerly anticipating and waiting in my chat and saying shit like oh like i bet he's gonna be late and all that shit you know i mean i'm just like dude it's true bro like you know what I mean like i'm not punctual like i'm not I'm not i don't wear that like as a badge of honor you know what i mean but uh uh I purposely like I'm not streaming on a schedule and I'm not starting at certain times because I know in the past by doing that and having failed to meet those expectations time and time again it just added on stress onto me that which I created you know what I mean but I wanted to be able to be punctual because I was like well dude it's like fucking 2 a.m. for this person like they are in like a totally different time zone and they're here ready to watch your stream why can't you be on time? You know what I mean? Like trying to meet you halfway in terms of like, well, that's the least I could fucking do. And when I wasn't doing that time and time again, even if you guys didn't care and like this was just like a joke, like I, um, I wasn't happy about that. I wasn't proud of that. I joke about that and I laugh about that, but there was a part of me that was like, yeah, I, I know I'm, you know, fuck. Yeah, I know. Like I'm, I'm not, it's not intentional, <laughs> you know what I mean? Insert like one reason or another, whether that was justified or not, whether it was work related or just on me for either taking a nap or some shit you know there's always that part of me that was just like fuck man come on sam like get your shit together like <laughs> um but yeah like that's uh t to go back to um what i was saying about like not streaming now like on a schedule or set time like um i'm just doing this like on my own accord and like you know on my own volition and i don't even know if that's a proper sentence to use that word but yo dude sounds cool so i'm gonna use it <laughs> but um yeah like because i'm not setting like strict boundaries or times and stuff like that. I'm doing everything in my power or I'm taking the route that I think is best so that I don't burn out again because I've burned out multiple times and I'm really not trying to make that happen again. Not because like, oh, like I want to do this as a career, like take three and I, I want the highest chance of success possible. It's like, nah, I don't give a fuck about any of that shit anymore. If it happens, I'm blessed and I'm thankful for that, but that's not my it's not my focus, you know what I mean? It's not like why I'm back here again. I'm back here again because I just missed hanging out in your guys' chat or I missed talking with you guys in my chat. And to have been doing that the past two streams, Friday and Saturday, as well as like, you know, ever since I posted that video, 
slowly coming into your guys' streams and talking to you guys while you're broadcasting. God damn it, man. I fucking miss the hell out of that. And this weekend has fucking confirmed for me 100% that Twitch is something for the foreseeable future you know what i mean and who knows things like can change but like I, I like i can confidently say that like this is something that like i want to keep doing whenever like you know you know once again like not on schedule not on you know set time like whenever i feel like it whenever i truly want to not because like i feel like i need to meet sort of some sort of expectation of like anyone else you know just to help me avoid potential burnout again um I've just really enjoyed your guys' fucking company this weekend. And I just... Yeah. I just want to... I just want to hang out. And even if it's just like once a week. And if it's not that, like once every two weeks. But I mean, pretty much what I'm... What I have in my head is like once a week. Because just like how I like meeting with my IRL friends once a week. And it's not like it's every week. Like... I go into every weekend thinking that like... Oh, like yeah sure like it'd be cool to like hang out like with some of my like uh, you know like my friends from high school for like a few hours now for you guys it's like yeah like that yeah I, I would like to hang out with you guys like once a week you know if for, I mean if just like for a few hours whether like I'm playing a game or I'm not because Friday I stream for like four hours and like on Halloween like on Saturday like I stream for like four hours but those were some fucking great four hours um, Friday, just talking with you guys for four hours, and then on Saturday, playing Resident Evil 2 Remake while also talking to you guys and also shitting my pants and screaming. <laughs> like, I, ha I like legit haven't really played a game at all in recent memory longer than an hour without feeling like, ah, uh, I don't know if this is like the best use of my time. Like, feeling, you know, getting like. Uh, getting uneasy because I'm like, ah, I feel like I could be doing something way more productive with my time than like just sitting here and vegging out and playing video games. And this is just me personally. I'm not passing judgment onto you guys or anyone else. Like, dude, you do you. That's your life. I have no fucking say over that shit. You know what I mean? So I'm just, I'm just speaking personally. And I, and I'm, I mean, it's, it sounds pretty simple, but when I started to think about, I'm like, huh, how is it that when I'm just playing by myself, like nowadays, like. I can't play a game longer than like 30 minutes to an hour without just kind of like, okay, all right, all right, that's enough. Like I just, yeah, let's, let's just do something else. You know what I mean? Um, let me just do some reading or let me just work on something else. Let me just be more productive with my time. I didn't think that at all. I didn't have that. Not even for a second on Saturday when I was playing Resident Evil 2. Well, for one, because like I was trying to make sure that like, you know, I didn't, you know, use up too many diapers and like zero didn't die from uh, smelling all that fecal matter. <laughs> <laughs> but joking aside, um, I think the, the reason is because I wasn't streaming for me. Sure, like I enjoy doing it, but it's really all for you guys. Like I'm here to entertain you guys or whoever's there, whether like you're actively talking in my chat or you're just sitting back and watching while you're doing like other stuff because it wasn't just the selfish because it wasn't just the selfish act of me playing a game so that I can escape and entertain myself but a combination of that but more so wanting to entertain you guys um that like makes total sense to me it's like no like I'm putting on a show I'm like doing all this goofy and wacky stuff like well yeah because like I fucking crack myself up because like I'm a fucking weirdo like that <laughs> but I'm like killing two birds with one stone. Like I'm having a blast with myself. And if there are people that are also having a blast with me being a, like a, like a fucking doofus. And like, you know what I mean? Talking like in like, you know, ditzy ass, like stupid voices like this. Like, if you get a laugh out of it, that's like so fucking fulfilling for me and satisfying for me as a person because I'm still very much trying to find out like what my actual purpose is in life, but what I know for sure is, regardless of what that occupation may be or whatever that hobby may be, I know I love fucking making people laugh. I know that in my heart. Even when I was like on that break, I always like making my friends laugh like in my group. Not, and when I say that, I don't mean like, oh, like look at me, look at me, like I'm so fucking funny. It's like, no, I never go in with that intent. It's just like, I'm 
this is just who I am. This is just like my personality. And I have, if, if I tell like a dumb joke or if I do some kind of stupid voice, it's because like I just want to do that. And I think that that's like funny to me. So when like other people find that funny, it's like, yeah, like it's like killing two birds with one stone. It's like, hey, dude, like, I'm glad you found that funny. You know what I mean? Like, I know it's like pretty dumb, but you know, dude, like I, I appreciate you like not judging me and like you're able to laugh with me. If you're laughing at me, like, fuck you, dude. Rude ass mother. <laughs> <laughs> I missed like so many shots in Resident Evil, so it's like, yo, dude, like laugh at me. You know what I mean? Like I'm laughing at myself, <laughs> cause like it's it's all in it's all in good fun. You know what I mean? I'm not taking any of that shit personal, anyways. Unless you're unless it's Brian, unless it's Brian. Yeah, that guy that guy really cuts to the core, man. He's just fucking a man. I, just, I don't know whatever I did to him. <laughs> I, I know if he's watching this video, he's like, Lumeo, fuck you, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm totally messing. But yeah, it's uh, it's my goddamn pleasure, man. It's my honor to entertain whoever finds me funny, or finds any of the stupid shit that like I do on stream funny. It's like, well, hey, like, and it's gonna sound like really, really weird, but it's like, thanks for laughing. You know what I mean? It's like, who, who says that? You know what I mean? But like, truly, it's like. Hey, thank you. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really fucking grateful that I formed a community that watches me, like, for me, and, like, you know what I mean? Like, the, with all, like, you know, the, the goods and the bads, like, you know, all the positives, all the positives and negatives. Negatives being, like, 3% gameplay and, like, 97%, like, doing stupid ass shit and, like, not progressing in the game. I love that I have a community that's not just like laser focused. It's like, dude, like I don't really care about your personality. Just like fucking play the game. You know what I mean? That's why I'm so, I'm so glad I was actually like never someone who excelled like really good at like one particular game or like shooters or anything like that. Um, and I, it's, it's never really been my focus with games anyways. Like sure. If I get like get really into a game like Octopath, of course, like I want to, I want to be good at it because like I love it so much so like I want to learn from my mistakes and stuff but like I'm not trying to be competitive I guess that's like a better way to say it. like I never have mm, I won't say like never have like I have had my moments of like being competitive but even then like I've just enjoyed just having more just chill games to play where I'm not so like laser focused and I have to be competitive just because like it it's always it always just like stressed me out and I, I know that's just kind of the the whole nature of it and like the satisfaction that you get when you do play those competitive games and like you win but eh, it's, just, it's just never really been my cup of tea certainly like not nowadays you know for sure um so yeah um the, the fact that like my community and you guys um just have no problem watching like whatever it is like i'm playing like fucking thankful for that and um yeah just uh knowing that i don't have to be at like the top of my game in order for you guys to find it worth your time and instead i can just focus on being who i am which is a doofus who likes doing like weird ass voices and just like you know what i mean making myself laugh and saying rhymes mcdimes like you know what i mean stupid shit like that it just just because it would just say i find it funny <laughs> it's just like fucking like whatever like i'm not gonna hold back who i am as a person certainly not anymore to try to meet any expectation of what society thinks is normal or is appropriate. I'm not gonna like step out of bounds and be like a fucking cunt, but if I'm like not harming anybody and like I'm just like being a goofball, then like fuck what anyone else thinks of that. If someone doesn't find that like funny, then like, okay, that, that that's fine. Like you don't have to laugh at my stupid ass jokes. You know what I mean? That's, that's fine. But if you do find my humor funny or you have enjoyed like the stupid shit that I've done in the past, it's like grab a fucking seat, dude, because like you're welcome to hang out and watch this goofball any goddamn time. Because I wouldn't be where I am today if you guys didn't do that to begin with, if the first person didn't decide to pull up a chair or you know what I mean pull me up on like their TV or on their computer screen and be like huh you know what like I'm not I like what I'm seeing like I'm, I'm I want to watch this guy I'm gonna see like what he like what he has to offer and you know as and as like the as those dominoes started to like you know what I mean topple and like build up and stuff and here we are today 
in towards the end of 2020 and I actually have a community of people who have been watching me for some people like five plus years, almost six. It's like, holy shit, man. Um, I, I can't believe I'm here today, especially after the two year hiatus. Like, I cannot believe I'm fucking here today. And I was, um, I was, I was talking, uh, I was talking with Az because like Az those like, because like I rated him after um after my stream on friday and like he told me he was like there's not a lot of people that can you know like go off the face of the earth you know what i mean for like two years come back and then like you know the chat is like flooded and all that he was like that that's that that's like that's on you man like what does that like say about you or like your character or like you know like i'm, I'm butchering it but i've really taken that to heart because like i don't want to wear that as like a form of pride or you know what i mean uh, let that build up in my ego but it's, it's really just like resonated with me. I was like, I, I definitely, it definitely says a lot about, I, I don't know, my character or my personality that all these people are willing to come back and hang out with me after going off the grid for two years and really not saying jack shit within that time. And it's like, man, I'm, uh, part part of me is like I don't fucking deserve that shit. It's like what? <laughs> why do you know what I mean? And I, and I say this like in the kindest way possible, but it's like, dude, why didn't you move on? <laughs> like why? Like well, why would you like stay followed to somebody that didn't really commu keep in communication and just abandoned his community for that time? And like I, I would have never and I, d I still don't hold any grudge or any negativity towards anyone that may have thought that and decided to take that action and just leave because it's like you have your own life and that's fine first of all my stream and supporting me like that's fucking at the bottom of the list you know what i mean like this is a hobby at the end of the day all i care about you guys especially having gone through my own growth these past six months and really really looking in and fucking facing these demons that I have ignored and tried to numb away for a good chunk of my life and actually chipping away at the person that I used to be and trying to form myself anew and not living in a fantasy of who I could be and actually becoming that person day by day, little by little. I, I, I truly feel like I don't deserve as much love and support that I've received this weekend. And if you're fucking looking at your computer screen and you're like, Sam, shut the fuck up like you do or like anything like that. It's like, I hope you understand like why I'm saying what I'm saying. I'm not trying to get your sympathy. I'm not trying to like, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, like, I feel so bad for sense. Like, no, like I really, really feel like a part of me is just kind of like, oh man i don't deserve all this i'm like what the fuck <laughs> it's like like once again like 100 percent thankful mad grateful for all of that because it's great to fucking hang out with you guys again i'm not trying to make this all sad and shit but um like for real it's like you know what i mean just like i like just just being fucking real with you guys not like not bullshitting not any of this shit it's just like man it's just holy fuck man you guys are i'll just say this with all the love and support that I've received this weekend, uh, even on the YouTube video or all that stuff, pretty much ever since I came back like on the social media, you know what I mean? I came back onto the grid. Um, all I'll say is you guys are fucking good people for like giving me another chance. And even if not that, just um, being there for me, you know? Continuing to Excuse me. Continuing to be my friend and um, hang out, or even stop by to like say like hello, like before you go to bed, um, anything like that. Damn, man, it's just like, dude, like, thank you, thank you, thank you. And yeah, I'm like, I'm like 35 minutes in, and I'm not trying to like make these rambles like progressively longer it's like all right we're going for two hours next time because well like for one like it's it's 11 p.m now <laughs> like i started recording this video pretty late on sunday but given that like i i don't have too much time during the week you know with like me having like set workout schedules 
I wanted to record this today, tonight, before I went to bed, while these thoughts are all fresh in my head, um, and also to uh, make sure that people that weren't able to tune in this weekend are able to at least hear through this video what my experiences were, what my thoughts were, what my thoughts are after uh, after the fact, and how much how much each each and every fucking one of you guys mean to me. I'm not just saying that. And I know like a lot of the times it's kind of like, <laughs> I feel like I'm being like hashtag sentimental Sam. And um, yeah, I, I don't know, man. It's just, uh, I'm not trying to be sentimental just to be sentimental. It's just like, I'm just, how do I, how do I, how do I describe this? Um, I'm just counting my blessings, man, especially, especially in this pandemic. Um, I'm counting my fucking blessings and making sure that when I take things for granted, sometimes like my parents and their kindness and their generosity, that I fucking quickly catch myself, if not in the moment, right after the fact, like, hey, 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 what the hell was up with that? What was with, what was with that snarky ass comic? Comic? <laughs> what was with that snarky ass comment? Oh, you're you're taking the anger that you felt at work and you're you're bringing your baggage home with you. They didn't do that. Why the fuck are you doing that? You know what I mean? I'm really trying to like work on that. And yeah, in terms of like counting my blessings, I'm not being sentimental just to be sentimental, but like I'm I feel like I'm just overemphasizing and being a broken record in terms of saying like how thankful I am for each and every fucking one of you. Because I don't know if this will ever be like the last time that I get to tell you guys how much I appreciate you. Because like, that's life. Who knows like what's going to fucking happen. So the last thing I want to be is on my fucking deathbed. And then a part of me is thinking, I wish I told them how much I appreciated them. Then. Before it was too late. And I know that's kind of like, whoa. Kind of thinking like a little dark there. But like, for reals, man. Like. COVID ain't no fucking joke, dude. And like, I know like I joke around about it, like here and there, like and, and not to take away from the seriousness because I know like it is serious. And for anyone that has been directly affected by this, like I'm not trying to make light of that by any means because like a lot of people are not here today, but you know, it's in terms of like how I try to like cope with that or, you know, something traumatic or horrific, you know, just trying to, trying to find humor in it. Um, but yeah, no, sincerely, um, for any of you guys that have been affected by it, I, I'm not trying to make light of that, or I'm not trying to make it seem like it's not serious. I very much do understand and realize it is serious. And because of that, and because a lot of you guys are from around the world and because it's not like we're talking like on a day to day basis in the event that when I'm talking to you in chat, in the event and a small chance that it is the last time I'm talking to you. I want to not only provide the fucking best entertainment that I can as a broadcaster, as someone who loves to make people laugh. I want you to fucking, I want that shit to be drilled into your head in the nicest way <laughs> that I respect your time and I appreciate what you are doing for me, what you have done for me and how much I want to give that back to you and form of like entertainment or emotes or yeah whatever it is I can you know what I mean but mainly the factor is like what can I give to them that will brighten their day if they're having a shitty day what can I do to make them forget about that not ignore it because you got to tackle them problems now I mean but if you're here to kind of escape that for a little bit because like it's a little too much or it's just hold on like I I, I need a moment like I need to just kind of be somewhere else let me give you something back in return through a stupid joke, through a dumb facial expression, through a stupid voice, through a fucking reverb, and then like leaving it on for like a minute and then not even realizing it until I look at the chat and they're just like reverb, reverb, fucking doofus, fucking do. <laughs> I 
I'm able and I'm willing to like laugh at like my own mistakes just because it's like, dude, like there's so much more important shit. <laughs> but if that also makes you laugh, it's like, dude, hells yeah, man. You fucking laugh your goddamn ass off because ain't no skin off my back. You know what I mean? Because I'm just here having fun and I want you guys to have fun. That's like the main objective. That's the fucking goal on this fucking re 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 return to streaming. Make sure I'm having fun, but more importantly, make sure you guys are having fun. Whether it is at my expense or not, you know what I mean? <laughs> when it comes to horror and I'm like fucking, you know, clenching the cheeks and trying to make sure that shit doesn't explode. Um, <laughs> as long as you guys are having a good time, then it's a fucking mission complete for me. That's what's satisfying to me. Not the numbers, not the subs, nothing finance or any of that stuff related. None of the, none of the business aspects of it. That's not fulfilling. That's something like I'm definitely thankful for and appreciative of for show sure, like 100% given that we're in a fucking pandemic and a bunch of people are just trying to like people are trying to save money right now you know what I mean so it's like oh man it's like an extra la extra layer of appreciation but yeah like as long as like you're having fun whatever that means to you or if, you, if you're getting like some laughs oh man all right then it's a good stream in my book if I see like lols or lols or like, you know what I mean? Any variation of like <laughs> laughing or like a ha ha's. I'm like, all right. Yeah, I'm glad I went live. Even if it was just one person. I made that one person's day. Even just, even if just for a little bit before they get back to reality. And that's meaningful and that's impactful for me. Because in this, in this search, in this pursuit of trying to figure out like what my purpose is. Even though like I'm still very much on that journey and that's fine because like I'm I'm having fun on this journey instead of just thinking about what's the end goal. What's the end destination? I'm having a goddamn blast having Twitch being a part of this journey in my life again of in my pursuit of like whatever it is I've been here to put on this planet for you know what I mean like big picture kind of shit. I know, I know a section of that. I know a part of that is making people laugh because it's fulfilling and it's meaningful to me. It, it, that shit resonates with me in terms of like how good that makes me feel when I can make people laugh. Because I appreciate when other people have done that for me in my dark days. I appreciate when comedians have done that for me when I wanted to escape and then I get to fucking just watch like a fucking an hour long set. And then like everything else just disappears. Just like when I watch like a movie and I'm fucking like entranced like I'm in the moment. I'm not even thinking I'm like, oh, this is like an actor and these people are like on a set and there's like a director and stuff. It's just like, no, like, phew, like I'm in the story right now. I'm dealing with these characters, like whatever their names may be, or if I'm watching a stand-up set, it's like, yo, dude, like I'm watching, I'm watching you do your work, your best work. And when I'm streaming for you guys, I'm on like my own virtual stage and I'm trying to do my best work, not out of any like ex uh, obligation or trying to, you know what I mean, fulfill anyone else's expectations. Not anymore. Not anymore. Even when I was streaming before then, like, it was never really kind of the only reason why, but at times it felt like I was more so trying to do it for other people instead of trying to make sure that like I was also, you know what I mean, fulfilled in enjoying myself and not just kind of going through the motions, you know, and just be like, oh, well, it says I go live Monday and Wednesdays at this time. So like, let's just go live. I really kind of don't feel like it, but let's go live. Nah, gone are those days. Gone are those times. Nah. Because we know how that ended up. <laughs> I burned myself out. And this is just a personal thing. You know, it, it just... I don't want history to repeat itself. I don't want to fucking go off the grid again. Because those were some dark times, man. <laughs> and hearing some of the stories of what you guys have gone through it's like in comparison it's like no man <laughs> my mind sounds like a fu fucking cakewalk compared to what some of you guys had to endure uh but you know I mean, pain is relative and um you know it's not 
it's not really fair for me to compare my positives or my negatives against other people's and try to try, try to mitigate that or try to act like those weren't really dark days for me. They were. I'm glad to be fucking over them for sure. More dark days are to come, you know what I mean? Or just like negatives because I mean, that's just life, right? That's, that's, the, that's the fucking dice roll of life, the RNG dice roll of life. But um, it's certainly it certainly fucking added in more positives for me in terms of my life these past fucking two days <laughs> hanging out with you guys again after all this time oh man it's been real fucking fun dude i probably just like rip I, this this video could have probably just been like 20 minutes because i feel like i'm just repeating the same thing in different variations but you know what i mean that's why i decided to call this series sam's rambles because i'm just rambling <laughs> and whoever's here is here and whoever is here also knows that this is me. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Certain aspects of my life have changed. But in terms of me rambling and failing a lot of video games, oh baby, oh baby, nah, 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 nah. That is ingrained, chiseled into who I am. And if you don't like that, fuck you. <laughs> I'm kidding, kidding. <laughs> but yeah, you, you guys already know what's up. You guys ain't surprised, not me. I don't know. I'm not surprised. So let's just fuck it, right? Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm not. I'm not doing this for any kind of like reward or any kind of like monetary gain. It's just like, man, I'm just, just like the streams past two days. I'm here to just fucking talk with my friends, man. So if there's no structure to this, I don't give a fuck. I don't give two shits. If this is not your thing and you want something structured, then this series is probably not for you. And I say that in the nicest way possible. I hope you're able to find something that like you do enjoy watching or like a content creator that you do enjoy watching. Like, honestly, if like, you know, the non-structurization or that's probably not even a word. <laughs> but let's be honest, 90% of the shit that comes out of this crayon mouth ain't even in the English language, McDanguage, right? Like, McDanguage? <laughs> Fuck, dude. <laughs> like my Discord channel, dude. This morning I just woke up and I was like, eh, fuck it. Let's just rename like all my channels with like stupid ass names. You know, just just pull it up real quick. <laughs> just pull it up real quick. Rules McDuels, Lounge McDowns, Social Media Encyclopedia, Announcements McPouncements, <laughs> Skillshare McPillfair. <laughs> What the fuck? It's like, eh, fuck it. I felt, I thought that that was funny. I felt like doing it. It's like, eh, fuck it. <laughs> it's my Discord, dude. I don't give a shit. <laughs> and I say that in like the, the nicest way possible. Cause like, I'm not harming anybody by doing that. And if I get a lull out of that, or if someone gets a lull out of that, then it's like, all right, cool, man. Yeah. Welcome to Sam. <laughs> you know what I mean? like, if you knew, it me. <laughs> This is what you're in for. So if you don't like it and you're new to this community, I advise you to dip out because uh, and I say this in the nicest way possible. I ain't changing for you. I'm done giving out my limited fucks to people and things that don't matter. The fucks that I'm willing to give out are for my friends, my family, and for myself. As long as I'm proud of who I am today, as long as I'm proud of the person that I am today than I was, you know, comparing to yesterday, as long as I'm proud of the entertainment and the value that I'm bringing to supportive members of my community, that's what I give a fuck about. That's what's fuck worthy. Because everything else, all these people that I'm never going to like see again or like the little shitheads on the road and stuff like that, nah, no more fucks given to them. Done with that. It just took a toll on my mental health, spreading out my fucks way too thin for stuff that was so trivial. Didn't matter. That's all just like, hey, yo, Sam, you be the best fucking best possible version of yourself you can be today. You continue to improve on that because, yo, dude, that's life. That's self-improvement. That's a goal. And that's a system worth building and continuing to edit and improve upon. And making sure that the people that you surround in your life 
we're also doing the same because just as I'm just as happy as I am in myself for like the growth that I've made, even just in like the past like few months, I want you guys to succeed because that's how friendships should work. Like we should, it should be like an, like a, an endless cycle of like us, like supporting each other and like whatever it is that like we're doing, but like us cheering, cheering each other on because why the fuck wouldn't you? Like, why would I, excuse me, like, why would I ever, like, pretend to support, but really, like, I'm jealous and I uh, just do, like, passive aggressive shit or include fucking, like, friendships or relationships where people are like that? Nah, not anymore, dude. You're not worth it. <laughs> those people are not worth it. I don't fucking need those people in my life anymore because I have you guys in my life i have so many people and i say this like you know in the in the humblest way possible i have so many people who are not like that that are so goddamn selfless that inspire me and motivate me to be a better person every day that i've got plenty of people to keep in my circle that like i love being around and that i want to genuinely fucking root for because like they're cheering me on. So it's like, yo, dude, whatever it is that you're doing on in your life, like I fucking want the best for you guys. And like whether or not you choose to like be open to me with that or not, like, dude, that's like on your prerogative. But like, let's make that crystal clear if it isn't already. If you're if you're struggling right now, if you're going through like your own your own hurdles in life, I genuinely hope that you're able to cross over to the other side of that sooner rather than later like seriously i i don't wish for these negative experiences to be just like gone like in a snap and the reason why i say that is because some of the fucking toughest experiences that i've ever had to gone through i've come out of those experiences a way better person because you know it took some time for some of those experiences like breakups and stuff like that where i was just like wow dude how am i ever gonna fucking take anything positive out of this like this is fucking miserable I fucking feel like a piece of shit i feel like a nobody i feel used up i feel fucking worthless as time has progressed i wouldn't take back those moments for anything if i could hop back in the door and be like hey you want to just like not experience this this heartbreak or any of these negative emotions i'd be like no no like let's let's keep it in there because in one way or another all of those experiences combined have helped me become who i am today because i decided to actively be responsible for how i interpreted those events and reacted to those events S some of the shitty things that have happened to me may have not been my fault but i am just saying and fucking from this book that has been like the main takeaway for me main takeaway from it for me I am always actively choosing the fucks that I give and I am always responsible for how I react to and interpret events around me stuff may not be my fault all the time and that's okay but it's always on me always going to be on me for how I respond to that. Sometimes you need, you know what I mean? You need some, you need some breathing room. Sometimes you need time to, to, to mourn or to, you know what I mean? To have those moments of just like sadness for sure, man. But that's just, that's just us being human. You know what I mean? Don't ever deny those emotions. Don't ever try to tuck them away or wish they never existed. I know it's really hard. I know it's really hard in those times to want to face those emotions because it's so fucking painful and it feels like a goddamn ice pick going through your goddamn chest. But never, never ignore those emotions because that's what makes you human. That's what makes us human. In, in a weird way, like, be thankful that you're having those emotions, even though I know they're like, they're real bad and it's kind of like, oh man, I fucking, I, I wouldn't want these at the same time, you won't you wouldn't want everything to be positive, right? Because how are you gonna appreciate your best moments if you don't go through those bad moments? 
How are, you, how are you gonna appreciate the great times if you haven't had to gone through bad times? Those great times make you, those bad times make you appreciate those good times even more. She's like, that fucking sucked. Man, I'm thankful for my friends right now. That shit was horrible. I'm fucking thankful for my Twitch friends right now. You know what I mean, it, it adds like, it creates, well, like for me, you know what I mean? I'm like, I'm not, I'm not trying to like speak for you, but like, it's allowed me to gauge like what's, what's valuable for me. You know what I mean? Like what I've come to appreciate when I've been in like those, in those bad times, in those bad moments. It's like simple things like when I was going through a breakup and being able to sit in my car and just have somebody listen, not even fucking see a peep, just their presence. I was like, wow, I wouldn't personally, right? I wouldn't have appreciated you just fucking sitting in my car listening to me if I wasn't in this state of mind right now. If I didn't just have my fucking heart broken and my my whole world just shattered. I really don't feel like I would have had this, this realization of like, oh my God, I'm really fucking thankful for this person. I'm really fucking thankful that they're actually willing to take time out of their schedule, out of their life to listen to me. I'm really thankful to have them as a friend. You know what I mean? The, all, all, like a lot of these negative moments, some of my fucking most embarrassing, my most heartbreaking moments have not only been like the most pivotal lessons that I've taken with me in terms of like life lessons, but have really, really solidified how fucking thankful I am for those that stuck around with me, that were there for me. Even if like they didn't like reach out, just knowing that they're like they're still here today or they didn't like think of me any less as a person because I made those mistakes. It's like, holy shit, man. These are people. These are my true friends. These are true friends. You know, this fucking judgment, like, huh, fucking gobble ass bitch. Like, what the fuck, dude, pussy? Get over that shit. Those people are not worth my time anymore. No more fucks given to those people like that. <laughs> I don't need, I don't need those people in my life. I want to keep, I want to keep people like you guys in my life. And on that note of being able to just uh, stream again and rekindle these friendships, rekindle these relationships, have this community back together again. God damn, man. been real real fucking awesome man running out of adjectives <laughs> like I said it's been it's been great though it's been more than I can ask for it's been extremely fucking humbling it's been another great learning experience Sam look at all these people that are here for you today look at all these people that have taken time out of their work, or even if they're at work, have decided to fucking open up your stream and lurk while they're working, or they're playing video games, or anything. Look, they're here now. It's like, yeah, holy shit, man. They are, and... I'm glad they didn't leave. I'm glad they didn't like unfollow, which, you know, once again, totally would have been justified given that I went off the grid. They've resubscribed as soon as I fucking started up my stream. They gifted subs to people that are new to my community or they've been a part of my community and maybe they just financially can't afford it. They decided to invite them into the community. You know what I mean? To, to not that like you you have to be subbed to be a part of my community. It's like no 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 no. Like 
you follow my channel even if you don't like you watch just watch my stream it's like dude you're part of the community man you're you're a part of my community when you decide to fucking click on that thumbnail and be like yo dude down to check out this asian dude and as long as you don't come in and say like some really clever ass trolley shit like uh -huh, ching 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 it's like what i gotta write this shit down dude i never heard about that <laughs> as long as you're not a fucking felicia or a felipe fucking douchebag if you enjoy my content and you're giving me your time you're part of my community man and so yeah there's just um you guys have truly gone above and beyond the call of duty this weekend uh this this video is sponsored by uh activision uh get call of duty cold war <laughs> Fucking hashtag ad, dude. <laughs> Got <laughs> but yeah, you, you got you guys have really um blessed me with your presence and um it's uh it's 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 been a blast, man. It's only been two streams, but it's been a fucking for those of you guys that were there, or even if like you watched the VOD or VODs, I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves again. Okay, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm back again. Realizing that I started this to meet people who enjoyed video games for one, but who also enjoyed my commentary on it, who enjoyed my sense of hum humor, enjoyed my goofy ass personality. Thanks for sticking around and for still being with me today. 2020 has been pretty bad, but um, it's been <laughs> really strange in a way that uh, the end of the year has been like probably my biggest highlight next to like, you know, self-improvement and really making myself feel better and stop and stop being so, you know what I mean? So, so self-deprecating against myself stop being so fucking judgmental and so negative towards myself and forgiving myself letting myself make mistakes but from those mistakes learning from them being a better person being the person that i want to be that i know that i can be and that i will be so yeah um we're over an hour and um i really should be getting to sleep soon it, yeah it's 11 30 I really should be getting to sleep soon. And uh, yeah, I want to edit this real quick and um, have it exporting throughout the night so that I can uh, have it uploaded in the morning. Um, and yeah, have it officially post either Monday night or just have it go live on Tuesday. But yeah, I really wanted to get all my thoughts out today before I went to bed. Um, but yeah, guys, if you're here now, if you're here at the end of this video, I appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks for sticking around for the end of uh, the second episode of Sam's Rambles. Um, and yeah, once again, guys, huge shout out to all of you guys that um, were there on Friday. Even if you just like stopped by, even if like you just lurked uh, and Saturday as well for like the impromptu Halloween stream. I really had a goddamn fucking blast this weekend. And um, I don't know exactly like what my plans are, but um, I, I would love to hang out again on Saturday. You know, like that's pretty much like m like my best day, you know. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you guys posted on my discord as well as like on Twitter, um, when exactly like that stream will be just so you have somewhat of a heads up, but, um, yeah, as, as of right now, let's, let's say sometime on Saturday, maybe Saturday afternoon. And yeah, I'm in California. So like Pacific time, um, but yeah, guys have yourself an awesome day, an awesome night, whatever time zone it is for you. I hope you have a great one. Have a fantastic week. Thank you again for all the love and support. I truly, truly fucking appreciate it. And it's, uh, it's, it's, it's real good to be back. <laughs> like on Twitch and streaming and entertaining for you guys. It's been really fulfilling and, um, just fun, man. I've loved making you guys laugh this past, this past weekend. And, um, yeah. It's my honor to be your source of goofy-ass weird entertainment. 
So yeah, I'll, I'll leave on that note. Take care, you guys. Thank you once again for everything. I know I've said that probably like three million times in this video and as well as like the over the course of the weekend, but truly, thank you. You guys are awesome. And um, I'm humbled, blessed once again out of fucking adjectives to fully describe how much I appreciate how much I appreciate each and every single one of you. But yeah, if you're on my Discord, you're friends with me on Twitter, you want to chat, DMs are always open. As long as you send me a new... <laughs> DMs are always open. Uh, if you guys want to talk with me if, or if you ever need an ear, don't hesitate. I'll make time for it. I still got to make times for these other meetings that have been piling up, but um, still, that it, it doesn't take away the fact you guys are here supporting me so let me be an ear for you if you need it and you don't have anyone else and of course if you trust me that more than anything but yeah anyways that's enough <laughs> have a good one guys i'll see you later bye actually whoa, whoa, whoa. hold on hold on wait, wait. because i got the reverb fixed over the weekend you know what i mean it didn't sound like a fucking auto-tune nightmare Raise up your beverages. Hold up. <clears throat> I was about to cough on my own goddamn saliva. <laughs> Here we go. Raise up your beverages. Jeez. Good night, guys. I love you.